So what's the leading cause of idler bearing failure? Well, we're going to find out next. This video is sponsored by Ina, a Scheffler brand. Visit repexpert.us for more information. Think about the relationship of offset of wheels on a vehicle. If a vehicle does not have the right offset, well, it can wear out the wheel bearing very, very quickly. The same is true for timing belts and drive belts. If that belt does not properly line up with the either pulley, well, you could have issues with the loads changing inside the bearing, causing extra heat and inducing a failure a lot sooner. Just like the loads on a wheel bearing, the loads on the bearing inside of an idler pulley, it's critical that the path of the load goes through the bearing in the correct position. In other words, if it's too far out or too far in, you're changing the relationship of the load to the rolling elements inside and also the raceways. When this happens, it can increase wear inside the bearing. It can also increase oxidation of the lubricants inside the bearing. The loads on these bearings is typically the tension that's on the belt. And when the bearing fails, well, the tension on the belt is lost, and this can cause a belt to skip time. Also, it can cause other issues with a serpentine belt, and the belt will not properly grip the other pulleys on the drive belt system. So what is the leading cause of this misalignment? Sometimes it's the components themselves. Let's say you have a pulley that's just a little bit cocked a certain way. Well, this changes the load and the pathway on the idler, and this could cause the failure. Also, some of the components, if they're not properly installed, and either they're too far out or too far in, can change the loads also. So when you do install a timing belt or a drive belt, make sure all the pulleys are properly aligned. This way, you're going to ensure that bearing and side and idler last a very, very long time. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.